Hello and welcome to Improp Tutorial. In this tutorial we'll discuss the uh, measurement of the photoresist thickness. The photoresist is on ITO on a thin uh, glass layer. So here is our film stack. Uh, we have um, in this film stack thin glass layer, um, ITO and uh, polymer which represents the photoresist. Um, the um, glass layer is an um, incoherent uh, layer. Uh, that means that it's um, we account for the backside reflectance, but we uh, don't um, do anything about the uh, face. Uh, so the way to do this layer is just to set the thickness to something like uh, one millimeter or more and it automatically will be converted, uh, converted to the uh, incoherent layer. ITOR is a um, parameterized material and um, now we'll um, import the measured data. Uh, that's the data of one of their uh, samples. So we know that sample uh, photoresist thickness is from uh, 1 to 7 microns. So we put our constraints in this range uh, to help software to determine and assign the thicknesses. And uh, ITO is uh, uh, up to a few hundred nanometers. Uh, so let's, um, let's try to calculate and see what will, uh, what will happen, what we'll see. And after that we'll uh, discuss uh, how we get to this point. Uh, so here is the result. Uh, we have um, uh, photoresist thickness and we have um, ITO thickness. So if you look closely there's a, there are two peaks. Uh, the big peak is a total thickness and the smaller peak is actually photoresist thickness. Uh, the ITO thickness calculated is the difference between these two peaks. So if we will um, remove their differential and just calculate one thickness, assignment will be wrong. We'll assign the total thickness to the photoresist layer. Uh, so this uh, differential allows us to determine the correct peak uh, and assign it to photoresist and determine the ITO thickness as a difference between those uh, two peaks positions. Um, the um, noise level uh, is also an important parameter. So it basically determines the level below which uh, software does not uh, consider the signal. It's all noise. So only the um, signal above this level is considered in um, uh, calculations. And both of our peaks are above this level, so we can uh, set this level to 0.1. So let's uh, let's try other other samples and see how they look like. So this sample is a little bit thinner. Again, we have uh, two peaks, exactly the same structure. We have about 3,000 uh, nanometers and 400 nanometers ITO. Uh, again, the to the big peak is a total thickness, and the smaller peak is photoresist. Another layer uh, should be a little bit thinner. Uh, again, exactly the same structure. We need to detect this small peak, which is correspond to photoresist. And uh, the thinnest uh, sample is about 1500 nanometers. Again, the small peak is correctly identified as a photoresist. And we have about 440 nanometers. Now, uh, let's get back to the, our original sample. Uh, how do we know that we measure, we determine the thickness of the photoresist correctly? Um, if we will look to the measured data and try the simulate fit, um, we see that fit is pretty good. Uh, so simulate fit is a good tool uh, to help overlay uh, the generated spectrum from the model over the measured data. It doesn't do the fitting, it just shows us how close we are. Um, our model is to the measured data, and it's it's reasonably close. Um, so um, we can we can check it by uh, calculating actual curved fitting um, using Markward. Uh, so we'll switch to the Markward and um, and calculate and see what we'll get. Yeah. So the difference is about two nanometers. 
we have uh, 5607 and 5609. Uh, it's, uh, it's practically the same. So we have pretty good result. So let's see on configuration what setting we have. So we have a setting of the maximum accuracy and maximum resolution. So if we will uh, reduce the accuracy to the high uh, and, um, and recalculate, uh, we'll see that uh, the thickness drops 10 nanometers. So we have an additional error of 10 nanometers. Um, and that's that's pretty common for a relatively thin film. For for the thicker film, um, uh, it will be different. Default will increase a little bit more the error. So it's another 10 nanometers. Uh, for for because because the film is relatively thin, about seven uh, uh, six uh, six seven microns. If it will be 100 microns, that will be a different story. Um, the same with the resolution. We need the highest resolution for this application. We're back to the main screen. Uh, so we have a still previous result from, uh, from our setting. We need to recalculate with the maximum resolution. And, um, and here's our results and, um, and a good fit. That's, uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, tune in for the next tutorial where we'll discuss uh, in more details other applications. Uh, please feel free to contact us or visit the website. Thank you very much.